I feel good, baby. Feels a lot better. So Trudy's first in line for the watering station. Tiny Tim thought he would just lay here and he could be first. He's one of those guys that likes to camp out. So you know how those folks will try to camp out to be the first ones to buy tickets to something? Or some of those ladies who will camp out to be the first ones in line for the Christmas sale, for the Black Friday shopping. That's what Tim's doing. Tim thought, you know what, I'll, just, I'll come lay here on the concrete and I'll be the first in line for the Black Friday sale, or in this case, it's the uh, water cool down station. But Trudy's like, eh, it doesn't work that way, Timmy. Uh, Tim, oh, look, he's just waking up. Tim's actually like, wait a minute, I was, uh, Trudy, I, Trudy, I was first, Trudy. And he thought that, uh, there you go, Timmy. Tim doesn't like to be sprayed down as much as the other pigs do. He likes to cool off. Oh, buddy. Oh, there it is. That's what you wanted right there. Look at the dirt just roll off of him. Yes, it is, Tim. Don't shake your head, no. It's very loud here, guys. I have the window units to the uh, barn dominium on. Oh, look at the dirt and the mud just roll off your back, Mr. Tim. Guys, do y'all notice something? His belly's not dragging the ground anymore. You can actually see a little bit of space between the floor and his tummy. Our diet is working. Oh, nobody likes the diet. No one likes dieting. But it's something that we all had to do. Yes, we did. And it's working out real good for all of us. There you go, Timmy. That should cool you off. That's it, baby. Scratch it off. Scratch it off. She's going to knock this entire roof down on top of me one day doing that. Those those are not... Those are just simple uh, landscape timber. Those things are not... They do not support much at all. A landscape timber, if you guys don't know, will crack... Oh, my God. That's what you get, Trudy, for cutting in line. You don't cut in front of the guy with big teeth, Trudy. You don't cut in front of the guy. You don't have no teeth, Trudy. He got big teeth and you got no teeth, Trudy. You do not cut in front of him, love. See how, when, how mad he got? Did you all see how tiny Tim had a little temper tantrum right there? That's it. He's going to walk off now and pout, Trudy. Good morning, folks. Lester here. It's a hot summer day here at the end of June. And we have some fencing to work on. Jamie and I are gonna get out today and try to work on that back fence where Moo and Annabelle keep escaping. We uh, we don't like to work in this kind of heat, but uh, as circumstances would have it, we are, we're doing some fencing today. And you just can't argue, you can't complain. Sometimes you just gotta get up and get it done. Because until that fence is fixed, Moo and Annabelle are stuck in a small pasture that does not produce enough grass and sustenance to sustain them and give them their best life. So uh, this is definitely not the time of year you wanna be working on a fence, but it has to be done. And uh, I'm lucky to have Jamie, she's here with me, and we're gonna get down there and knock this thing out. So step one, we're gonna take off this attachment. This is our hay spear. We're gonna take off the hay spear and we need our bucket. Y'all see this? Are y'all watching this? Uh, I can promise you, it's not always that easy for me. As a matter of fact, it's almost never that easy for me. We gotta drive through all this mess Get over here on the back side of this fence that Moose getting out on and clean it up a little bit. So there have been a lot of people ask about that thing right there in different videos. They's like, hey, whose RV is that? Guys, that is an old RV that one of my Uncle Raleigh's kids owned and motor went out on it. So they had it parked here by Uncle Raleigh's barn uh, where he has tools and a little shop until they could work on it. And that's when Hurricane Harvey happened. 
Hurricane Harvey took it from up there around the barn and washed it all the way over here, rammed it up against this tree, and that's where it has sat for the last five years. All right, so this is the fence here that has to be worked on. So what we're gonna do is come by first with my brush hog, ba -bam! and we're gonna mow as much as I can around it. Uh, Jake's already mowed on one side. We're gonna mow on the other side so we can kind of see what we're working with. And if we have to run new wire, we can do that, but I don't want to step on a snake in the process. So what I do to be safe is I lower my bucket down, right to the ground level. I flatten it out. Now I don't want to drag the ground, but I want to barely scrape it off the ground. That way I can pick up any kind of trash in my bucket before I run over it and it can tear up my brush hog. You do not want to tear up your brush hog. This right here is the fun stuff. This is the scary and the fun stuff. This is a uh, land that has not been touched in years. This has not been touched in years. Uh, I would have had never had any reason to be over here doing any of this. I mean, you know, my cows have always kind of grazed over there and did their thing. This is old fencing and property that just has not been managed in a very, very long time. Oh, Lester, that's a goat's paradise. Let your goats in there. Yeah, if I could get the goats back here, it'd be great. But my goats don't herd the way you would like a goat to herd. You can't just get a, a staff and walk around and have your goats follow you the way they did in the biblical days. Uh, I would need to get a trailer and haul my goats and drop them off, and even then they're going to go wherever they want to go. You guys don't know my goats very well if you can, if you suggest that I just lead my goats back here. But no, it would be a goat paradise. It would be a goat paradise. All right, so I've come by the fence line and did one good mow. I'm not going to mess around with this area here. There's no need to. Uh, this is not my property. I'm not going to waste my resources. I'm not going to risk my tractor and my brush hog on trying to drive around stuff where there's there's junk and things piled up. I, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of back myself out of here. This might not work. I'll tell y'all now, this might not work. Probably should have come and cut these down first. All right, this is the other corner. This is my corner post in here. So it's important to always mow your corners out real good. All right, so Jamie is inside this rig. I am walking around to the other side. Huh, the little window AC unit. You can have a little oven. I wonder if this is a bathroom. I bet you it is. There's an upstairs too, clearly. Is there a bed? Yeah. Are you inside there? Yeah. No, you're not. Okay. I'm not going to climb in. I'm going to push my camera over. Oh, you are. Oh, there's a big old butcher knife, Jamie, hanging on the wall. Oh, great. It has this an is the oven. Thing. So this is what an RV looks like. All right, the next part of this job is to go fill in T posts wherever we need them. I know there's some that are knocked over. We may have spacing too far between them. So we're gonna take some more T posts and uh, set them in the ground where they need to go. All right, now that we've got it cleaned up a lot, you can see what we're faced against. All right, so this little small stretch of wire here is absolutely no good. This is a really nasty piece of wiring that goes at a weird angle there. What I think that we should do, and uh, 
I'm just trying to think out loud here. Listen to what we're gonna do. That old funky looking H brace over to these posts. That will be a very short stretch of wire. So it won't require anything more than just, uh, ah, I have a better idea. Funny, funny angle. Here's such a funny angle, but this will be even sh shorter stretch from this post over here to my big post in the ground over here. It's such a short stretch that I won't need to worry about having any kind of wire stretchers or anything and pull it tight with a hammer. A couple of hammers, maybe even a crowbar, and I can get a nice tight fit there. And that will block this over here, this little nook where the animal sometimes come up here and get messed and get trapped. We'll take all this mess out. And that'll no longer be here. We did what we could do. There's a, we're limited on what we can do in this temperature, what time of day we get to work. But uh, I think we have enough done to keep Moo in. That entire stretch of fence though, which is about 500 yards, needs to eventually all be replaced. It needs to have taller T-post Barbed wire is fine. We could probably use the same wire, but we need taller T-post and uh, a lot more uh, H-braces to pull it tight to. And so that's not a job for the summer. That is not a job for the summer. But I'm hoping that we had, you know, got enough done today to keep Moo in because what we do not want, this has always been our biggest worry, is him teaching little um, Annabelle his bad habits. So, there you go, folks.